All right, so we are here at um, Ul, uh, and uh, with I, I, w I would have said a beautiful weather, but it's it's not the case. A typical Irish weather. Who are you? Uh, I'm uh, Mateusz Stawetski, uh, and I'm the CDO of Glide. Okay. So, um, so before we start, the funny way we uh, kind of introduced each other a couple of minutes ago, we n know each other for like, I think a couple of years, seeing at NS conference or whatever. Uh, and I was just uh, w looking at the old app, which is done in Glide, and I said I had mixed feelings about this, and I wanted to meet the the old guys. So you said, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I always welcome feedback. <laughs> so uh, give us a little bit uh, um, um, the pitch about what Glide is. The Create Glide uh, app is an app creation tool, uh, and it it or originally sort of started with the Wonders of the Universe app which was uh, a multimedia app that we've done at the other media uh, together with Chris Harris. Uh, and it was really a kind of 3D experience uh, with a bit of multimedia content attached to it. Uh, you could sort of go uh, look around the universe in 3D. Uh, it was really kind of smooth. And that, uh, inspired by that, you can sort of pull out related sort of content to it. Uh, it was written by Professor Brian Cox. Uh, we had short clips from his BBC series, lots of kind of images. Uh, and uh, one of the UI patterns that we've used is, uh, is sort of Chris's uh, snap, snap to center uh, when, uh, when an interactive part is uh, okay. focused. So, uh, so if in, in every Glide app, if you uh, if you have that enabled, uh, if an image or a video comes to center while you're reading uh, content and you lift your finger up, it just sort of uh, comes in, animate, just starts playing. Okay. And to continue, you can just swipe up and continue reading. So it doesn't actually require you to tap, okay. which is like a very na smooth and natural thing after you use it for a while. Uh, and that was actually the sort of the foundation of what we had. So we found this kind of really clever way of putting content to uh, displaying content. So uh, obviously, then we found a way of uh, kind of putting it together in a, in a CMS. Uh, and you know, a bit more down the road, we realized that uh, there's more uh, we can do more than just publishing okay. content. We started putting to putting in a bit more native functionality. Uh, we started configuring more of the app uh, remotely. Uh, we introduced uh, Dropbox Sync, okay. so we realized that the CMS is just too messy for us, and we can do everything in Dropbox. Okay. So, uh, Glide Create, as it stands, mm -hmm. uh, is an app creation tool based on Dropbox. And the simple idea is, uh, you put your files that you want in the app in Dropbox, okay. and our service will sync and create an app for you from that so it's that simple so um how does it position it compared to i would say app makers regular app makers like me that could be um you know afraid of uh being replaced uh, even though it's a total different case yeah. um you don't have to worry about that <laughs> basically <laughs> I, I figured that out but yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh the closest comparison we have and one of our inspirations is HyperCard. Okay. So HyperCard is obviously a really old piece of software, kind of completely outdated now, but it had uh, amazing convenience of how things work, how you could put things together in HyperCard and add it simple interactions. I have a personal story about HyperCard when I was around 10 years old, okay. and together with my friend we put together an app and we send it to a contest or like for UNESCO, it was like world peace. It was really simple. Like we we just knew kind of a couple basic patterns how to put together, and we actually won the medal, <laughs> like a medal uh, for an outstanding piece of work because it, it was it was a cool thing, and we were really proud of it. And it was uh, it was great seeing your own content, uh, uh, you know, in an interactive way. Uh, and this is the kind of convenience we're inspired by when we're doing Glide. Okay. Uh, we want it to be extremely simple to put these things together. Uh, obviously, uh, we're trying to bring as many of these amazing features that modern devices have. So, 
it's sort of hyperclite reimagined in the context of you know today's technologies like eye beacons and data feeds you know uh, but uh, to come back to your original look you're gonna worry yeah. you don't have to be worried there's uh, uh, there's a there's apps out there that uh, you won't be able to do it right obviously yeah. it will always require bespoke work and uh, not every idea uh, that you can come up with can be done with Glide, mm -hmm. but there will be enough tools for you uh, that are easy to use as well inside Glide mm -hmm. that you can really put together amazing things mm -hmm. uh, yourself uh, in, in, a kind of in a fast way as well. Mm -hmm. So um, whether you're using Glide because you just don't have the skill, uh, but or whether you use Glide because you just want the productivity gain. Mm -hmm. uh, it's this is sort of a, these are just kind of two uh, two big benefits. Okay. So uh, you know it's the <laughs> hopefully there will be ten year olds out there who will be putting stuff together with okay. it. But you know one of the reasons why we did uh, the app for the Ulcom, for uh, app for Ulcom in Glide is because it was just you know. It had all the features that we need for this mm -hmm. conference, mm -hmm. and uh, we could put together put it together pretty fast. Okay. Obviously, you know, me and Chris are both busy all the time, <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and yeah. actually, even you know, we still managed to fit it in our schedule to uh, to put all the parts together. Well, well, we'll certainly think about it for Objective Cologne for because uh, I still haven't updated the app, which still shows the schedule from 2013 and <laughs> looks like iOS 5. Um, doesn't look like iOS 5. It actually is still working on iOS 5. Um, so, um, but that's very interesting. But one other question that I have is, uh, um, does it only work for iOS? Or obviously, it looks like it could totally work on Android. I, I, I don't know of any reason why it wouldn't. It's not that I'm trying to... S to yeah, make no any no promotion no. for Android, not at <laughs> all, but... Uh, I actually had some experience with Android as well. I wouldn't call myself an Android devel developer. Yeah, I'm sorry Android. about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did ship an app or two to the Android market, uh, uh, and Android's obviously uh, an amazing popular platform. It's a market that you can't ignore, okay. uh, and it's a market that uh, maybe you know a smaller share of users are actually you know downloading apps, but if you sort of add up, you know, the people who are downloading apps and have Android phones, it's still a, it's still a big number. So there are people out there who download and buy stuff for Android. So it's a viable market, and we're we're taking kind of Android quite seriously. Okay. And we've we've we've, we've experimented before with trying to get some of the interface uh, run on Android, and uh, we've done it around kind of two years ago even as well, uh, and we had bit of disappointing results. It wasn't tragic, but uh, it, the state of Android now is certainly better, okay. so we're happier to revisit it now. And the other thing is, in the last sort of two years, uh, the, the tool really evolved into what it is now. It's, it's in a much different kind of state, so the reality is, even if we had Android already, we <laughs> we'd, we'd have to kind of change a lot of things on it. So I think this is definitely a, a good time for us to revisit uh, Android and even uh, revisit above the web presence because obviously uh, native will always have quite a more features than the web layer but uh, but we already uh, have an option for automatically generating uh, some of the content that is in your app into you know into web web pages so you can use it as shareables on Twitter or Facebook and then deep link it back into your app I heard that you guys are going to be on Kickstarter or Indigo or whatever in a couple of weeks or months what's the status you've been working on this thing for a while right yeah I mean we want we wanted to launch lunch a little earlier so uh, we've we've worked with Jim Del Rimple on the loop magazine uh, Jim, which isn't here uh, this year, sadly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how I grew. I grew the bird. Uh, I, I was. I was figuring out maybe I can make it like like Jim. For the first time, there's actually Heineken in the bar <laughs> because Jim's because not here. Because Jim isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, but and uh, it was the first. Uh, Jim's magazine was one of the first kind of glide projects that was actually using stock glide. So there was nothing that we did for Jim that was sort of bespoke uh, we later went on to do a bit of private testing okay. with uh, with uh, other sort of people who are interested in 
uh, in this product. Uh, and, and they had all the functionality that Jim had. Uh, but what we realized that a lot of the people that we're talking to are people who sort of want to do similar things to Jim. <laughs> and we've realized that we actually want to go a little beyond that. So instead of sort of launching the Glide as it was for, which was a, you know, this great tool for doing magazines, uh, we decided to tackle a couple other verticals. Okay. So we did a, a game companion app Mm -hmm. uh, for Elite Dangerous, which included features like uh, like backend authentication with with their game services, so mm -hmm. you could actually log in uh, through the Glide app okay. into like your pilot profile, get your like ships and current like market stats inside mm -hmm. the game. Uh, so, which is sort of more like app like, like this is this is like proper functionality now. Yeah. Uh, we're working on uh, on a new service as well. Uh, which you can't can't disclose the company name yet, but uh, uh, we're we're really we're trying to broaden the kind of the different verticals, different things that you can build with it. Uh, that's why we that, that's why we had the delay, but uh, the Kickstarter is is pretty much there. We have a dr we have a draft video, uh, uh, which if, unless we ha we get some feedback, is actually ready to go. Okay. Uh, and one of the reasons why we came here to all, and one of the reasons why we decided not to lunch before all, because there's a lot of smart people around <laughs> that we can talk to, yeah. that they can leave us feedback, they can leave us their worries, yeah. so we can address them during the Kickstarter campaign. Where can we have more information about Glide? So uh, we have a website and Twitter account. Uh, it's uh, createglide.com, okay. and the Twitter handle is createglide. And our, our company is called Light Creations, okay. so uh, it's, it's all about making stuff. Wow. <laughs> Thanks and uh, enjoy all and maybe see you in Cologne.